Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Patson and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash drew off my chest where OP's ex has the audacity to ask for another chance. Let's begin. I got closure from my family. Posted by Reddit user TA23454. This is a throwaway account. If you're wondering about the lack of information, it's because I hate thinking about this fucked up situation. I'll give a very brief description of why this matters so much to me. My ex-girlfriend cheated on me and after I found out and confronted her about it, she got scared and told nearly everybody we knew that I had raped her to cover up her cheating. I was placed in custody during the investigation, however I got released as there was no evidence. My parents had already disowned me and most of my friends had distanced themselves from me. I wasn't even proved innocent by a jury, so my parents still believed me to be a rapist who had gotten lucky. My best friend began to help me behind their backs and I ran away. I had nothing to lose as nobody liked or even approached me and my college barred me from attending lessons, only emailing me the work and bringing me in for exams. I went as far away from that town as I could and got an apartment after working in some community jobs for some money and managed to sort of stabilize myself. I decided to change my name after a while because I came to hate looking at it for some reason, I still don't know why. This helped me start a new slate and I made a few new friends when I went into uni. Again, I don't know why I did this, I'm still in truckloads of debt and was incredibly poor looking back. I finished my degree in teaching and moved far away to a country on the opposite side of the globe to where I live now. I got a nice apartment and settled down in my new job. I eventually met a girl who turned out to become my now wife. I originally couldn't trust her and after realizing how much patience she had with me, I would flinch if she tried to touch me or I'd start fidgeting when she'd get close, I fell head over heels for her. She eventually gave birth to my twin daughter and son who I adore and will defend to the edge of the universe. Her family got used to me very quickly considering I was a foreigner and not very trusted. They treated me well and I sort of remembered how a loving family actually is. Now I'm living in a nice house with both of my children and wife and we're very happy. That is until last night where I was playing on our PlayStation with my son while my wife and daughter were in the garden. There's a knock on the door and lo and behold my father is there. He smiled weakly and began to speak but I slammed the door so hard I scared my son. I took him to his room and called for my wife to take my daughter to her bed. She was freaking out and so was I. My father kept knocking on the door and I just broke down at that moment. My wife comforted me then answered the door for me. She asked who he was and he said he was my father. I had given my wife a vague background of me and she had nothing but sorrow for me. She looked pissed understandably and began to scream at my father for abandoning me and whatnot. After she calmed down, I told her to let him in and for her to go to our kid's bedroom and keep them busy while I talked to my dad. He said that he was doing my ex-girlfriend a favor by clearing some stuff on her phone and while he was clearing out some messages on her phone. He saw a conversation between her and the guy she was cheating on me with, basically expressing the guilt for ruining my life and that she wanted to take it all back. My father didn't confront her as he wasn't ready to bring back a dead situation but silently began to hunt for me to tell me that he believed me. I don't even know how he found me, but I don't care because he's here. Now for the part I need help on. I don't know what to do. I've considered my options alone after walking through some random streets and I've come to some conclusions but I'm not sure what the best decision is. 1. Turn him away and tell him to go back to our country and leave me alone. 2. Reconcile with him and tell my mother. If there is a better option which you have then please let me know. I'm stressing out hard here and am planning to take the day off work tomorrow. My father is in an apartment nearby so I'll probably go to him with my answer. Thanks in advance. And now for OP's first update. Hi everyone, I'm sorry that I haven't said anything recently, but I came to the decision that I would not reconcile with my father. I simply couldn't find it in myself to forgive him. Some of you might want a story, so here is how it went down the day after I made the post. I visited my father in his hotel, and I told him that I wouldn't reconcile with him or anything like that. He had tears in his eyes but was understanding. He said he told my mother about her and cut my ex-girlfriend off from the family entirely. I asked him why there was still contact as many of you questioned and he said that she apparently felt too guilty to really let us go. I'm not too inclined to believe it as were many of you, but it's closure enough for me. Apparently, my mother didn't take the news too well and tried to get my phone number, but my father didn't let in. 
Not sure what I could really trust given that I feel most of it is just a ploy to get me back into their lives, but after they threw me out onto the streets like a rabid dog, it just makes me sick. My son did end up asking who was at the door, but I told him that it was a colleague. I plan to tell both of them what happened to me in my past when they're older or going through tough times to let them know that I understand. We're all fine. It shook me up a bit but I hope I have my father's word in him keeping my new life a secret. If anything else happens I'll keep you updated but I think the matter is resolved for now. Thank you all so much for the support and good words. If anybody you know has gone through the things I have, be there for them. You cannot throw them to the streets. Always stay alongside them and make sure they're happy, even if they have to move across the planet to be so. And now, for OP's final update. This is my first time posting to this community so I'll give some backstory. I grew up in a perfectly normal middle class family. They raised me well and I was living a good life. Then I got a girlfriend and at the start she was amazing. We had many of the same hobbies and went along well. Then I discovered she was cheating on me and before I could put her, she threatened to tell everybody I had raped her. I thought she was bluffing but she actually did it and my family disowned me. I was released from custody due to lack of evidence, but I wasn't able to be tried and acquitted, therefore my parents thought I was a rapist who had gotten away with it. I decided I would start a clean slate. I stayed with my best friends for a while before getting copies of all my major information and running away. I got a degree in teaching and moved to another country where I met my wife and had my twin daughter and son. I was living peacefully before my father found me and it kicked off a chain of events that led to this post. I recently had an incident with my family involving them breaking a promise. It angered me incredibly and after a lot of thought, I decided I would face them directly. I flew back to my home country and met with everybody involved, my mom, dad, brother and even the girl who accused me. I was nervous of course, but I was shocked when I realized I didn't really see them as family. I recognized them of course, but I didn't see them the way I see my wife, kids and in-laws. My mother started by breaking into tears and trying to apologize, I just felt disgusted by it. My father comforted my mother, and my brother was the one who kept his composure and initiated conversation. He asked me how I was doing, and I responded by telling him to cut off any small talk and that this meeting was on my terms. I told all of them that I was not looking for reconciliation and I simply wanted closure. I made sure to tell them that I would call the police should they attempt to chase me. I asked my parents why they were so quick to abandon me, even though the police said there was no proof. They said that they made a rash decision and seeing me in custody broke their hearts. I called them out on it since they didn't try to stick up for me or anything. So I then asked what some people on my original post had said about my father looking through my accuser's phone. He said that she came to him to ask him to clear off her phone of non-essential stuff and that's when he saw the chat logs with her friends. My dad was always good with technology so while it wasn't fulfilling, I accepted it. I then asked my brother why he never contacted me. He looked surprised and said that he did but I just ignored him all that time. Turns out, he was right, my brother had tried hundreds of times to contact me and give me money to get me off of rock bottom, but questioned why I never answered and assumed that I hated him because of what happened. Well as it turns out my mother had my contacts blocked on all of her phone plans as she paid for my brother's old phone plan, so I couldn't even receive help when I was completely lost. Then the cherry on top, my ex, I first asked her why she actually did it. She said that she was scared of what would happen and that she never stopped loving me even throughout it all. She said that every session of therapy made her feel even more guilty as she knew it was all fake. She then told me that she hadn't dated anyone since in hopes that I would come back and she could apologize. <laughs> because I'm sorry would really reverse time and fix all of it apparently. Even that was bullshit because my father said that he found chat logs of three different partners she had when I was away. My ex broke down crying and tried to hold my hand. She had the fucking audacity to ask for another chance. This just made me spiteful, and I pulled out my phone and began showing all of them hundreds of pictures of my two children's milestones and good times my family had together. Our visits to cities, their first day of school, both of them in my wife and my arms. I told her that this was what she could have had if she wasn't so stupid, and my parents what they missed out on for not even hearing me out. I had a moment when I thought I had gone too far, but I realized compared to what they did to me, I hadn't. My visit wasn't all miserable though as I met up with my old best friend and his family. They were happy to see me and I was still grateful for them taking me in when it felt like the whole world was against me. 
I'd plan to return to the country someday to show my kids where half of their culture comes from. I won't let them anywhere near my family though. As far as I'm concerned, my only family is my wife and her family and my kids. I'd say it went pretty well. Edit. As some of you asked, I have decided I would allow my brother to fly over and meet his nephew and niece. I completely forgot to mention this in the post. Apologies. I hesitated at first as me and my brother weren't really on great terms growing up. Brotherly rivalry and all that. Yeah, OP, I think your brother deserves some form of relationship with you. He did, after all, try to help you as best that he could. Unfortunately, your mother blocked all of it before it can even reach you. And good on you for not giving in to their bullshit. False accusations should have the same punishment as the actual act of rape itself. Both ruin lives devastatingly so. It should not be like this. No one should have the power to accuse someone just for fun and ruin their lives without punishment. Where is the world going? My goodness me. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.